ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਹਰਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਨਿਹੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਐਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਦ ਸਿੱਖ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਫੋਰ एवरीवन who have is in need of supplies or anything they could come to this temple it's a local Sikh temple in Surrey and the martial arts that we learn is gatka but gatka is actually referring to the soti which is called a stiff it's actually called Sikh martial arts or Sikh shastra vidya it's basically carried on from uh, sanatan time meaning first hinduism and uh, christianity then islam and all these other religions have a very big impact on it This right here is a mace it's called a gurkha it's basically used for smashing and other things where you would uh, smash the cap it's supposed to be spiked sometimes or it could be just smooth like this this is a khanda a double edged sword this is very famous in punjab and it was used by one of the oldest sikh warriors he was in his late 70s 80s and uh, he used a 18 kg one and he was actually famous for getting his head chopped off and then making a promise that he would fight until his head comes off and he said uh, that when his head came off he put it on his hand and he fought with his head on his hand this is a tegga this is a very heavy sword this was used by the sixth guru guru hargobind pasha and he was the first one to militarize the six before that they were only saints and he made them into saint soldiers he would use this tegga which is still in uh, the hands of the bidi chandal and uh, he would use it and he was quite tall he was around 7677 7. this is a pata you would hold it like this and use it it would be usually used on horseback because it's only a one hand weapon and you could use this part to defend and this part to cut down and slice this is a zulfika you can see by its teeth and uh, ripple here this was used by persians and uh, the moguls and this was adopted by the sikh as it was quite a good weapon This is the last weapon this is a bengani gourd or it's a type of bengani gourd it's used to break caps if a warrior is wearing a helmet or a cap like it won't really affect the turban but you would slice them down these would be sharp and you could use this thrust 